Now for this part of the question we're given that sine 3 theta we know is identical to 3 sine theta minus 4 sine cubed theta and we're also told that sine theta is this exact value here root 3 over 4 and we've got to get the exact value for sine 3 theta. So how are we going to do that? Well it's going to be fairly straightforward I would have thought because all we need to do is just substitute root 3 over 4 in wherever we see sine theta and just work out then that exact value for sine 3 theta. So let's just do that. What we therefore have is that sine 3 theta must be identical. Well I'm not going to write identical anymore because we're going to get an exact value for this. Okay, So we just put this in now as being 3 times the sine of theta. Well we know that's root 3 over 4 so just pop that in there root 3 over 4 and then we have minus 4 times sine cubed theta so we need to cube that result that's root 3 over 4 all cubed. So you can either work this out on your calculator assuming that your calculator will keep it uh, in an exact form rather than going into decimals or you could just do it um, by um, in your head without the calculator. This first term is going to be 3 root 3 over 4 and then for this second term you've got root 3 cubed so that's going to be 3 root 3 and we've got 4 over 4 cubed 4 cubed is 64 so you're going to have 4 times essentially 3 root 3 all over 64 and you can do a bit of cancelling here because that 4 cancels out into the 64 it goes 16 times so what you've got then is essentially the first term 3 root 3 over 4 minus 3 root 3 over 16 and if you change this into sixteenths by multiplying top and bottom here by 4 you're going to get 12 root 3 over 16 minus another 3 root 3 over 16 and what's that going to give us? Well, it's going to give us 9 root 3 over 16 9 root 3 over 16 and doesn't cancel down anymore so that's got to be it.